I'll give him seven minutes. That's all I'm going to wait. It's 7.53 now. I'll give him until eight. Exactly seven minutes. That's all I'm waiting for. And not one single solitary minute more. Well, here we are, Snoopy, sitting in a pumpkin patch waiting for the great pumpkin. Every Halloween night, the great pumpkin flies through the air with his bag of toys. Just think if you and I sit here all night, we might get to see him. I really appreciate your sitting out here with me, Snoopy. I must admit, however, I've been wondering why you're wearing those dark glasses. There are certain times when you prefer not to be recognized. I'll wait a half an hour, a half an hour spare. But after that, I'm leaving. I mean it, I don't care. That's 23 more minutes than if he doesn't show. I'm absolutely, positively gonna go. Of course, I realize that at times you must get discouraged because more people believe in Santa Claus than in you. Let's face it, Santa Claus has more publicity! But being number two, perhaps you'll try harder. It's practically 8.30. I think I'll wait till 10. But 10 o'clock's my limit. If he's not here by then, I'll give him till 11. All right, 11, 9. But 11, 9 is really where I draw the line. Of course, he may be flying. And the frost is on the pumpkin. And the fog is getting heavy. And he may be flying blind. One pumpkin patch looks an awful lot like any other. And this particular patch may be hard to find. Or maybe he's in some kind of holding pattern over Newark. Or he's had to make a forced landing in bed on Luma. I'll give him until midnight. I've waited here this long. Another 50 minutes. How far could I go wrong? I'll give him until midnight. As long as I'm still here, my nose is numb. I think I've got a chill. If he doesn't come, and I don't think he will, I'll never wait for him again until next year. Can I ask you something? Did the great squash ever show up? <laughs> That's pumpkin! <laughs> 